Trump's hearing about to begin on the use of facial recognition technology to help ICE agents with their work as Congresswoman Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez grabs another headline calling for the end to the entire Homeland Security Department. ICE is not under DOJ. It's under the Department of Homeland Security. And so we have now... Would you get rid of Homeland Security too? I think so. I feel like we are at a very, it is a very qualified and supported position, at least in terms of evidence and in terms of being able to make the argument that uh, we never should have created DHS in the early 2000s. Arizona Congre Cro Congressman Andy Big serves on the Judiciary Committee. What did you think about what you just heard from your colleague there? Well, I, I, I just don't know how extreme you can keep going. I, I mean, to eliminate the whole Department of Homeland Security seems so outrageous to me. Um, and don't forget, I mean, she doesn't want any internal enforcement for ICE. But, I mean, DHS has done a, uh, for, for better or worse, has done a pretty doggone good job quelling terrorist attacks in, in this country, as it was supposed to do. And it's trying to enforce the laws. I don't know where she's coming from, actually. I really can't. can't. Can't conceive of it. When she was asked what a sane immigration policy looks like, uh, Congressman, she responded, quote, we should not be using detention for people who have harmed no one. Final thoughts on, on that bit of her interview as well. Well, I thought uh, then she basically wants to scrap law. Uh, you know, I get it. It's, it's, an, it's a quasi-libertarian point of view, but it's, it's really an anarcho-libertarian point of view that says there's no borders and that there's no law internally in any nation state and it's for abolition of the nation state, which I think Actually, I think that is her position ultimately, uh, based on all the comments I've seen publicly. And that's just antithetical to the greatness of the United States of America and what we need to be. Uh, now to this reportedly contentious 16-hour DOJ grilling of the Trump dossier author, Christopher Steele, Congressman. I want to ask you about the uh, DOJ preparing to release this watchdog report after that interview took place. Your expectations on that, sir? Well, uh, I've heard that, that th there's been some additional uh, whistleblowers that have come forward that's going to make it for an interesting reading. And don't forget that the, the Inspector General Michael Horowitz, who's going to release that report, he's the guy that gave us the information on Peter Strzok and Lisa Page. Um, I think it's going to be interesting reading. I don't think it's going to be the end of this thing. I don't think it puts it to the, uh, this thing to bed yet. But uh, I'm interested to hear what Mr. S uh, Christopher Steele said since we tried to do some interviews when we were in the majority and, and uh, were rebuffed every chance we could get to, to make these interviews. I want to read this piece by Jason Chaffetz, uh, also one of your former colleagues in the House there, on this Fox News op-ed. Jason Chaffetz writes, battle looming over FBI surveillance abuse. Will IG report become classification cover-up? Wonder what the answer to that question is. He says that this is um, what comes of all of this looms large over the upcoming presidential election. What do you think, Congressman? I think Jason's right. I think that we've seen that. Uh, that's where the Democrats' biggest complaint with the Mueller report was that it was overclassified. Uh, I've looked at doc documents that were classified because ostensibly for national security, and then when when the uh, classification was removed, you find out it really wasn't national security. It was really embarrassment to the agency and people involved. I do think that there's a habit of overclassification, and it's to prevent the American public from finding out the reality of things uh, such as corruption at the highest levels of government or, or things that otherwise might be embarrassed, embarrassing due to lack of uh, following proper procedures. So I think Jason's exactly right on this. And, uh, uh, don't be surprised if you do see some overclassification. In fact, that was Inspector General Horowitz's complaint to me uh, uh, previously when we've talked about the last report that he issued, is that, that uh, he was prevented from seeing things that he needed to see because of classification by the FBI and DOJ. Very interesting. The former congressman wrote, nonetheless, the big battle that now looms is this classification battle. What gets classified before the FISA report is released and to what do degree? Certainly sets it all up for us, Congressman. Thank you for coming on this morning. We appreciate it. Thanks, Sandra. Good to be with you.